much for watching. Today I'm doing my Thanksgiving look right here. And this is a beautiful look for this special occasion. And I kind of wanted to do something dark but fun that you could also wear around your family and feel comfortable but feel really pretty. Anyway, this look is more dramatic and has some, it's more of an orangey golden smoky eye with black into it. I'm super excited about this look and show you guys how to do it, so we'll just jump right into it. So if you want to know how to get this look, then please keep watching. First I'm starting off with the Justice Girl eyeshadow primer. I'm putting that onto my lid just a couple strokes and I'm going to be rubbing that in with my finger. Next I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles and I'm just dabbing that onto my lid over the eyeshadow primer just to create a little base. Now I'm taking the CoverGirl eyeshadow in the shade Champagne with my all over shadow brush and I'm sweeping that all over my lid. Champagne is an amazing base, and this eyeshadow is a really affordable option. Now I'm taking the shade Toasted by e.l.f. with my fluffy brush, and I'm just going to be working that into my crease. This is going to be setting up a good base so we can layer the darker colors over top. And the shade has kind of an orangey brown fill, which kind of reminds me of Thanksgiving. Next I'm taking the shade Combust from my Naked Smoky palette with my fluffy brush and I'm just layering that over the shade Toasted in my crease also. I'm taking Toasted again with my angled brush this time and I'm going to be sweeping that on my lower lash line. Taking my NYX Highlight and Contour Pro palette, I'm taking the hollow shade with my small shadow brush and I'm going to be dabbing that on the outside corner of my eye first, working that in and then I'm going to be taking that over my lid and I'm not going to put that on the inner corner of my eye. And now I'm going to gently sweep this under my lower lash line just to darken it up. I'm taking my 120 Colors Eyeshadow Palette by BH Cosmetics and I'm going to be taking that dark orangey color and the peach shade with my fluffy brush and I'm going to be putting this on my crease. Now I'm taking the beautiful Black Market shade by Naked Urban Decay Smoky and I'm taking my small shadow brush and I'm just dabbing that on the outer corner of my eye and just kind of working that into the middle. I'm dabbing that so I can really make it pigmented. I'm going to take the shade Dirty Sweet from the Naked Urban Decay Smoky palette using my small shadow brush and I'm dabbing that on from the inner corner of my eye to the middle. Now I'm taking the shade High from, again, the Naked Urban Decay Smoky Palette with my really small pointed shadow that comes with the palette and I'm dabbing that on in the inner corner of my eye. I'm taking my large fluffy brush and I'm just going to be blending all the colors together. I'm really liking this eye look so far, it kind of reminds me of pumpkin pie, like a sparkly pumpkin pie. <laughs> Back to black market with my small shadow brush. I'm just gonna do another layer to darken this look up. I really want to make this a dark smoky, and so this is a perfect shade. With my pointed crease brush that I actually got for my Ipsy bag this month. This is my first time testing it out. So I'm gonna point this into my crease and mix everything together. With my flat liner brush, I'm going in with black market and I'm just gonna line the top of my lid. I'm making a slight cat eye with this, but it's going to be very slight. With my pointed crease brush and black market, I'm just going to be putting that into my crease. Now I'm curling those lashes. I'm going to be taking my Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara, and I actually got this in my empty bag too. And I really like it. It has a big, thick brush. And yeah, like you can't go wrong with that kind of brush. I'm taking my Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipes and I'm just gonna clean up that line. And that's why I didn't do my foundation first. 
I'm gonna dab Dirty Sweet onto my finger and I'm just gonna dab it on the inner corner of my eye to the middle. Now we're done with the eyes, so I'm moving on to the face. I've already done a tutorial on my foundation and highlight and contour routine, so I'll link that down below. I'm just quickly speeding through this, but I'm showing you what I'm doing because I'm doing it slightly different than I normally do. I'm taking the shade Toffee from my NYX Highlight and Contour Pop Pro Palette, and I'm using my angled brush and putting that under my cheekbones and the regular places. Now I'm taking the sculpt shade again with my angled brush and I'm just putting that under my cheekbones and blending that out with my blending brush. That's it for the face, so now I'm going to do my nose with the shade sculpt again with my eye angled brush and I'm just going to quickly put that in. And I'm putting that on top of my nose to kind of create a button nose effect. Now taking my CoverGirl Cheekers in the shade Plum Berry Glow 140, I'm going to take my blush blending brush and I'm dabbing that onto my cheeks. With a flat brush, I'm taking Nectar and Ice Queen, I'm mixing those two highlights together and I'm putting that on top of my cheekbones. This is a great highlight for specifically for Thanksgiving because we kind of got that yellow glow that kind of brings a pumpkin-y in it. I'm taking the tan shade with my big fluffy brush and I'm just going to do my neck because my arms are darker than the rest of my body. I'm taking the New York City lipstick in the shade 301 Cafe. This step isn't completely essential but I kind of liked the look. I kind of wiped a little bit of it off and I'm putting over my concealer on top of it to give kind of a pale pink look. Well, you made it to the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe down below for more tutorials like this. Um, if you have any comments, then go ahead and leave a message for me down below and I'll try to get to those as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching and here are the bloopers! I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> what the? These are my earmuffs. Gotta go tea now. Hey. Hey everybody. How are you? Thanks for watching. <laughs>